Hey YouTube family! So, it's that time again on my way to work. I'm so damn sick of working, it's unreal. Well, I'm not sick of working. It's just, I work like almost an hour away from my house. And it really sucks because I have to work in the morning, go to school. Sorry about this thing flapping around in your faces. And then I have to go back to work. Then I get a couple minutes with the kids, like I said um, yesterday. And then I have to go back to work. I'm trying to find something closer to home and just work a uh, 3 to 11 shift. But I don't know. Can't find nothing right now. So it's crazy. I'm still looking. But I was talking to my husband's friend, BG. He's going to do the challenge. I think him and my husband are going to do the challenge because I called them both out. I want them both to do this um, Coco Loco challenge with the chocolate, the black reaper pepper. So I'm going to order one for my husband off of Fujibox.com. They're like $19.99. Um, I don't think there's any shipping, so I'm gonna get one for my husband and shit, so they both can do it together, and then we're gonna we're gonna record it to see how much men talk shit. I know my husband won't be maybe able to do it, but you know, cause he doesn't really like hot stuff. He likes hot things, but not very, very, very hot. And we have done the um, two-time hot two-time hot challenge, noodle challenge. And my husband did it once, and that was a wrap. So I'm gonna this weekend get those noodles so we can do the challenge. But I want to give Beachy a um, thing of hot noodles to see if he can do them too. So calling them out on that challenge the noodle challenge and the chocolate challenge and we're gonna record it and we're gonna put it up on face uh, not facebook sorry <laughs> youtube so the world can see it you know for all you people to see it it's pretty warm today i mean it's not that warm but it's warm i was freezing this morning so it'd be crazy this Freaking New England weather be really crazy. I don't know. I'm exhausted. I want to work. I want to be lazy and go back home and lay in my bed and watch a movie. But laying in bed and watching a movie doesn't pay the damn mortgage or the bills. So that's not happening. Um, what else? Let's see. Crazy shit going on in the world today, guys. Crazy. I hear all this bad shit on the news. I hate watching the news. Seriously. Who likes watching the news when it's so damn depressing? I think I mainly watch it for freaking the weather, and that's about it. Because I'm sick of hearing... You know, buildings burning down, people becoming homeless, people being killed, shot. The news is depressing. Honestly. If y'all think the news is damn depressing, leave it in the comments below. Because it's fucking crazy. This world is nuts. You know? I don't know. It goes a steady. A lot of state cops around the Quabbin. And they sit here. When I come home at nighttime, these motherfuckers are always sitting there. And I have to go like real slow. I gotta creep because if not, these niggas will catch ya. Trust me. Yep, there goes another one. Holy shit. He just passed me. Did you see him on the camera? <laughs> wow. Cops make my husband nervous. I don't know why. If he's driving, 
and he sees the cops, I swear my husband like looks back like 30 to 50 times to see if he's turned around and come after him. Like, what the hell are you worried about him for? You know, he's not coming after you. You didn't do nothing wrong. He's like, babe. But I get nervous every time I see a cop. Nervous for what, stupid ass? The hell are you nervous for? You ain't doing nothing wrong and you're following the damn rules of driving. They ain't gonna pull you over for no reason. Unless you're wanted. But he ain't wanted. They don't want his dumb butt. But who knows? I love the drive to work because it's daylight out and the scenery is so pretty. But I hate the drive at night because it's dark and it's the boonies. And I'd be a scared bitch because I'd be all alone by myself on a back road. What if I break down or something, you know? Even though I have OnStar, I'd be scared. I always think something or somebody's in my back seat. So I like I have to turn on the light while I'm driving to, to like look in the back seat and make sure nobody's there. Do y'all do that shit? Like if you're driving on a back road and it's dark and lonely, do y'all think somebody's in your back seat? Because I sure the hell do. Call me crazy. I don't give a shit. But I always have to turn the light on and make sure nobody's in my car. Even when I get in my car at work, I make sure I look in the back seat and make sure nobody's in my back seat. Because I watched this movie where this lady was driving. She's in, I don't know what the name of the movie was. She was driving and she stopped at some gas station to pump gas. And the it was self, not self-serve, but it was the guy got to pump her gas. And she was in the car sitting. And he seen somebody in the back seat, you know, and... He, like, tried to warn her, but she got skeptic or however you see it, like, nervous of him. And she took off without paying. But he was just trying to, you know, let her know that somebody was in the back seat. But she didn't listen, so she took off. And then he come to find out the freaking guy strangles her. Fuck that shit. Mm -mm. So that's why I always have to look <laughs> before I get in my car. Oh. Uh, you guys should see me. I'm hilarious driving home. I try to like I try to take it easy and not and I try to do the speed limit, but I get nervous like on back roads. Daylight's fine. I'm fine in the daytime. But having to drive a back lonely road with no lights on it. Scary shit, people. Scary. I think I'm gonna stop and get a freaking iced coffee from Dunkin Donuts. I've had like two cups of coffee and I'm still tired. Oh, excuse me, people. I'm so sorry. But I had to go to work for five o'clock this morning and I haven't slept since. So, and then I gotta go to work. I'm on my way back to work now. I don't get to nap. I got out of school. I went home, picked up the house a little bit. Got some dinner ready. I you know. And left to work. I get to see my kids. Let me see. For a few minutes. When they get home. Like, I mean, literally a couple minutes. To say hi, bye, kiss them, and I'm out the door. It, it's really crazy. That's why I, I need to find something, not with less hours, but more closer to home. I mean, I used to work in the morning and then go back at nighttime for a few hours. And then I'd see them when they got home. But I see them at nighttime when I get home, too. You know, because they go to bed around 1030 even though they should be in bed earlier for school, but they seem to get up on time for school with no problem, so I'm not gonna complain, you know? But, I'm almost a ducky door this time. I'm so sorry people I keep yawning. I'm probably making everybody on YouTube yawn that watches this channel. <laughs> sorry about that. But I'm gonna let y'all go. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, give this video a thumbs up. 
and hit that bell so every time we upload a video you guys are notified god bless you all and have a good evening